Hey guys, this is Luciano Benavides. We are about to start the Rally du Maroc 2019. It's uh, yeah, exciting. We're, we're pumped to be on the bike. Let's go, mate. Let's go. You want to come? Jump on the back. Unfortunately, I'm um, my footwear is not quite. <laughs> you alright? You just keep them up a bit and shout the sheep out of the way for me. Alright guys, we're out here in the middle of the desert getting ready for the Rally du Maroc and right there behind me is Mr. <laughs> yeah, that's Janil and he is ready to race. So when, you, when you come that close at, uh, you know, what did you find at 40 k's an hour, it's um, well feel close to you for sure. I felt a little bit of a breeze. <laughs> Perfect. Was that what you would consider race speed for that kind of terrain? Yeah, for sure. I mean, race speed and um, obviously faster on a, on a flat piece like that. Uh, mm. It just depends on where you're coming from. But, yep. uh, no, it's normal race speed. Except the Carlos. Today I drove 200 kilometers. I push like him. Fernando always behind me. Be careful now, huh? What do you think about having the F1 driver out on the course? Yeah, it's good to see uh, F1 driver, uh, Fernando, uh, competing here in uh, Morocco Rally. Uh, he prepared for, uh, for next Dakar and uh, yeah, it's really excited and uh, he's really a nice guy, you know, we, we love him and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it will be uh, something special for him. See what he will do. But it's okay. He's really a uh, clever uh, co-driver with him, uh, Mark uh, Koma. He's five times uh, Dakar winner. Uh, he know how to <laughs> to handle uh, Fernando. In the world of cross country, Dakar uh, to 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 have a, a driver like Fernando Alonso, it's a it's a great pleasure. It's a really good for everybody. I hope that he will like it. And uh, then he is for sure is welcome, like when uh, Sebastian Loeb arrived for three or four years ago. It was really attractive for everybody. This is a little bit the same, and uh, yeah, it's nice. was really aggressive for the tire. The last 30 kilometers, when when the tire was completely destroyed, and they explode also the, 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 the body part of the car so with a high speed, you know, pa 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 pa. You know? It knocked off the body of the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, can you show us this over yeah, there? Yeah, for sure. The door, and we lose the panel. And then the... You lost the panel here? We lose the panel. And then this body part? This rear body part was destroyed. You can see the, the the black from the tire, and also this destroy the the door, and that's all from the tire. Everything from the tire, yeah. Is it still holding? No, air? no, still. I, I was able to finish the stage with the tire. Just a thumb piece of uh, I don't know the name uh, the, in English. The pattern. The pattern. The pattern. The pattern. The the dislocated yeah. from, the, from the tire and touched the body, but at the end I didn't change uh, the wheel. We can see that it's a really good resistance. But there is a limit for everything. Yeah. You got any uh, rubber left on that back rim, Sam? <laughs> Well, not a lot, mate. Try to get most of it off. Hey, Mark, dude, I want to get a drink. Is my tent's there? He was leading the stage. Who's in first? Carry that shit. This stupid English idiot. 
Is the disc straight? Disc is straight. It was just a session of, uh, of training on shooting just before the Rally of Morocco. It was really interesting. First uh, shooting, it was nice because it was a possibility to drive together with Carlos in the dunes with a nice uh, video from the helicopter. And it was it's always uh, like uh, surfing the dunes, you know, together. It was, we play, we were playing together and it was really nice. Basically today the tire uh, the rip off on piece of rubber and damage a lot of parts on the, the left side completely and the part of the door come out. So what we did is just cut some pieces and try to fix the aluminium. Yeah, make some aluminium piece here and try to fix. It's better to for the, for the, to make the shape. Mm -hmm. So for us better to fix and then we fix outside and inside. So, Andrea, can you tell me what he's doing? Yes, he's repairing what he damaged. <laughs> First, we need to find the shape, cut it out, and then fix with the, the rivets. That is everything is sealed, and we pass some glue around the soft, uh, soft aluminium that is, is easy to, to shape to make a shape for the door because the carbon takes long time to try and you need the resin and to, to make uh, everything proper one, two, three times and I think two or three hours is not enough for this. So aluminum is faster, it's a little bit heavier, but it's faster. It's, it's much, much safer. Uh, if, for example, if something happened with the tire again, so they are not protected inside. Some pieces flying away and then they are not protected. So we did this for safety reasons as well. And then stickers. Yes, the sticker is not my, you know, <laughs> I'm not good on it. Who's the sticker guy? He's not here. I did this, but I'm not the proper guy to make this. You know? For me, it's <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> are, you, are you proud of your work? Oh, yes. I'm surprised with my work today. <laughs>